Hey guys, so I did this look today inspired by a New Year's Eve look. I really like this for New Year's Eve with all the sparkles. It's a golden black smoky eye. So I hope you like this and please subscribe. I really love this look and I think it's really good for Va Valentine's Day. I think it's really good for New Year's Eve because it's very sparkly and beautiful. So I hope you guys like this look and please keep watching. Today we're using a different technique than I normally do. Um, if you can see I have scotch tape right here lining, starting from my uh, outer corner of my waterline up to my brow and this just makes using like dark colors a lot easier to work with and yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Alrighty, after you've placed your primer and concealer all over your eye, I'm going to set my eyes because this sometimes makes blending easier if you put a powder on. Alrighty, so now that's done, we're going to take our Anastasia Tamana palette and we are going to take the color Bingle or Bangle. It's a really nice matte caramel shade. I love it on a blending brush and we're just going to buff that into the crease. We're going to take the same color Bingle but we're going to take it with a little bit less of a fluffy br brush and we're going to place it a little more tightly to build up the color. Alrighty. So after doing this you are going to take a pencil brush if I can find that. Pencil brush like this and you're going to take the color chocolate in the palette. Just a really pretty matte brown. And we're going to place this on the outer V of our eye and then we're going to bring it um, into our crease tightly. Alrighty, so once you place that in the outer V and into the crease, you're going to take a fluffy, a tiny fluffy brush, something like this, which is actually a paintbrush, but it works. And you're going to just take some bangle and chocolate mixed together, and you're just going to um, diffuse it a little bit and blend it out. Alrighty, once you've buffed out that chocolate, you're going to take a big fluffy blending brush and you're just going to blend it all together. Alrighty, now we are going to do the same step with the chocolate again. And then, what do you know, you're going to do some more blending. Alrighty, and for now that, and for now, the actual color of black, black, and you're going to do the same thing that you did with the chocolate, and I just put it on the crease, the outer V, and into the crease again. Chocolate, and we're going to blend that out a bit. So once you have blended that black out a bit with the chocolate, you're going to go in with a big brush and we're going to take some bangle again. Bengal. I don't know what that is called. But we're just going to, this is just going to help blend everything out a little. So for the gold sparklies, I'm not going to be using this palette, but there is a great color in here which is called 
gilded but I want it extra sparkly today so I'm gonna be taking a MAC pigment pigment called cold and this is the glitter kind all right so we're just gonna place this all over our lids all right so once you've placed the glitter you're gonna touch up the black again gonna blend that out a little more alrighty now we can remove the tape gonna make a wing Just gonna dot my favorite foundation all over my face. And what's annoying about this glitter is I don't have, you're supposed to have some type of glitter glue, but I, I never get one. I need to get one. So sometimes it can fall on your face a little. So that's why it's good to do eyes first, especially with a look like this. And we're just going to buff that all into the skin. Do some concealer. I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm seriously so excited for New Year's Eve because, well, first off, you get to wear sparkles. And second off, I'm just excited for New Year's Eve because I have some major resolutions. Alrighty, after we have concealed, we are going to a contour. And I'm going to be using the chocolate souffle, souffle from Too Faced on my Morphe M460. This is like a really good dupe for the NARS Eda brush and it's a lot cheaper. Blend that out. So now that we've contoured I'm going to just bronze up the face a little using Max Give Me Sun. The difference between bronzing the face and contouring is um, contouring is just a straight line, you know, to carve out the like hollows of your face. But for bronzing, it's very blown out and it's really just to give your skin some color. So once you have bronzed your face, I'm get some blush and I'm going to be using Melba by MAC. have the most hideous makeup faces so I apologize for that. Just close your eyes or fast forward. So since I went a bit overboard with a blush, just gonna take my foundation brush and just stipple it over my cheeks and for my favorite part highlight so I'm gonna be taking Mary Lou Luminizer from the Balm on an elf small tapered brush start going like this so I can see that highlight anyways now we're gonna move on to these brows 
I'm going to be taking Anastasia's Caramel Brow Powder Duo and just filling them in as usual. If I can find my little spoolie. Okay. Seriously, I really don't know how I ever didn't fill in my eyebrows. Like, boom. Boom. Ugh, they are so hideous. I've never, I've got my eyebrows done one time professionally. I'm really cheap when it comes to getting things done professionally because I can just do it myself. But I got them done one time. I got them threaded. And the day after, my whole face broke out in pimples. So I'm really scared to go back, although I really need to. So, I'm just going to brush these babies out. And sometimes I go a little overboard with my brows, like my blush. So, I'm just going to pat my foundation brush on top of it. Now, we're going to work on our under eyes. Take a black eyeliner and wa uh, line the waterline. And then I'm going to smoke that out a bit with some bingo. <sighs> so the next step is lips and mascara. And at this point, you should look at your eyeshadow and see what kind of things you should you think you should change because I feel it's kind of hard to put change your eyeshadow when you have mascara on. So I'm just going to make the black a little bit darker and using Fresh by Anastasia. Mascara. So this is the finished product. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please subscribe and follow my makeup Instagram, Makeup by Jody. Bye guys!